Hey guys, happy new year, it's your boy Just Melo, and today we're back in the kitchen. We're doing a pasta leon, plantain lasagna. For those that don't know, check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing that pasta long I just told you about. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna take step by step as to how we do everything. Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Just Melo, and today we're doing that pasta long I was just telling you about. We're gonna start off with some ground beef. We're gonna put that into our bowl. We're gonna throw a little seasoning into that. So check it out. Oh, what the hell, we're going to use all of it. Don't need a bigger bowl. Bigger bowl. Now that we have our ground beef in here, we're going to take some seasoning. Take a little onion powder. Just the way I like it. I'm gonna use some uh, Sazon Tropical. We're not gonna kill it with too much seasoning. Just a little. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Roll up your sleeves. Make sure you get all that seasoning into your ground beef. And squish it in there. Make sure you get all of it in there together. Right. I love my seasoning. I love the way my food comes out. So you might want to add a little bit more depending on your taste. About it. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put that to the side. Wash your hands. Dry your hands. And now what we have here are some uh, maduros, some plantains, sweet plantains. The yellow ones are sweet. The green ones, tortones, are a little harder. But if you want sweet, and this is what you should be using. Make sure. Hope everyone had a good new year and a safe one. Spend some time with some type of family or friends. I stood home and actually had to work. But overall it was good. If you guys have any questions that you guys would like to ask based on my cooking or perhaps um, anything else, anything else that you guys would like to see, please feel free to comment down below and let me know exactly what it is that you guys would, uh, would like to chat about. I'm open to any questions. I'll try to be as real as I can. without cutting yourself. Thin slices.
for you guys who are doing it for the first time, don't worry about it. You might make your mistakes. All that matters is that it actually comes out and it tastes good. So if you follow my steps, I can assure you that you're gonna have a great plantain lasagna, or as we call it in Spanish, a pateleon. Once we're done cutting this, we're gonna go ahead and take, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in a nice hot frying pan with some oil, make sure it's preheated. Yes, I too have trouble with uh, cooking sometimes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, ground beef and put it into the pan and let it cook. You can prepare that. And then we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna fry our uh, green plantains in long strips. And then we're gonna get busy. Check it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, plantains into the frying pan. Try not to burn yourselves. They're very slimy. Wait till they're a little uh, brownish. Kind of like that one there. Just a little bit longer and then we can take it out. I like to go ahead and put a napkin on the plate and put it on the plate. Let the oil soak in. Because then we're eventually going to put this in the oven. Don't want to leave them in too long, you don't want to burn them. Just give them a little bit of color. Now you can start taking them out. Hey guys, so welcome back. Now that we've got everything cooked, we have our ground beef, we have our sweet plantain, we have our cheese, and we also have our marinara sauce, which is what we're gonna start off with. So I heated up a little marinara, uh, marinara sauce, uh, tomato basil preferred. Um, you can use any marinara sauce that you want. 
I like to take it and just put it around as a bottom bottom part first um, just so that it doesn't kind of stick just go ahead and throw that in there as you can see you don't have to put much just a little bit I love me some marinara sauce there for now and then you're gonna take some of your ground beef not too much just a little bit like I said sprinkle it around not much there you go. now you want to take your three plain tank you want to take your strips and start putting them down you want to fill in all the holes and all the gaps. Nice and tight. Don't worry about if you have little gaps, you can always fill them in with some of your ground beef. It's almost like a puzzle. And you might have to cut some pieces just to make everything fit. You want it nice and snugly tight. Dishes. Like you gotta find the right piece of the puzzle. it out nice and flat you want to go ahead and you want to take some more of your uh, ground beef you want to take a nice portion of it this time you want to make sure that doesn't have too much oil in it as we're gonna bake it at uh, 350 and we're gonna leave it in for about 40 minutes. And you can make this, you can double it. This is just a, a two slices of plantains, one good slice of um, ground beef. Make sure, like I said, you want to fill in all the holes and all the gaps. As you can see there. And we're going to take some, uh, just a little bit of cheese, just a sprinkle. Actually, no, we're going to, or we're going to put as much cheese because cheese is the wow factor in the lasagna. And who doesn't love cheese? I know I do. And when you run out of cheese, you go into the fridge. Pull out the next. Go back to your sweet plantains and start laying that again side by side. Side by side.
And look at that, we're probably gonna need more plantain. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one so we can fill this up. I should have done it in the beginning. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. We're gonna come right back to it, and then we're gonna throw this. Hey guys, so we're back. We're gonna finish off where we left off. We're gonna finish adding more of your sweet plantains. And you wanna make sure that it's nice and snug, like I said before, nice and tight. Leave no space whatsoever. These are hot. Very hot. Hot, 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 Ooh. hot. That's because they're fresh. Those are my dogs. They found their toy. Ooh, that's hot. So there goes your second layer. Uh, you can actually take that's raven. You can take some some meat and just put it around. Last part. Once again. This time you can put as much cheese as you want. It's gonna be a top layer. And this is your wild factor because this is what you're gonna bite into. Put your sweet plantains and it's gonna taste so yummy. And that is your masterpiece, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it inside the oven. So you want to go ahead and you want to leave it there for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, and then we'll take it out and we'll taste it. Stay tuned. Looks good. <coughs> and there you go, Pate Leon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Hello.